Hey guys, welcome back to Bruins' Smack Club. Today we'll be learning about the PEMDAS method. So PEMDAS is just an abbreviation for parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction, which is written right over here to the right. So we're gonna go ahead and copy it down. So one way we can remember PEMDAS is by please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. So that's one way we can remember it because sometimes we forget. So please excuse my dear Aunt Sally stands for PEMDAS, which is parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. So the PEMDAS method is basically used to solve, I guess what you could call big problems, such as the one that I have right over here. So we can, if we use the PEMDAS method, then this whole thing can be so easily solved, okay? So if we go ahead and take a look at our example, now this may seem very confusing at just first glance, but if you go ahead and take a look at the PEMDAS method, it says parentheses, exponents, and so on. So here, if you take a look at this, we see that we have parentheses. And in this right over here, when I was typing it, I wasn't able to write the too small, but this means to the power of two, so this is the exponent. Then we have multiplication, division, we have addition, and we have subtraction, okay? So the first step according to PEMDAS is to do parentheses. So in this problem, we have two plus two in parentheses, so we'll solve this first. So we all know that two plus two is four, so we'll go ahead and write four and copy everything else down just as it is. So four to the power of two times two divided by four minus eight plus six, okay? So we've copied everything else down just as it is. Now next step, exponents. So in this problem we have four to the power of two. So remember, when we're solving exponents, we're multiplying that number that many times. So four to the power of two means multiplying four twice. So four times four, which equals 16. So we'll go ahead and write 16 and copy everything else down just as, as it is. So times two divided by four minus eight plus six. And then our next step is multiplication. Now, here is a note for you to take. When it comes to PEMDAS and also in order of operations, which is pretty much the same thing, it this is the note that you need to take. When there is multiplication or division, you always go from left to right. So what I mean by that is, you know how in English we read from left to right, right? So in PEMDAS or order of operations, if multiplication comes first from left to right, you'll do multiplication. If division comes first, you do division. And the same rule applies for addition and subtraction. If addition comes first, you do addition. If subtraction comes first, you do subtraction. So in this case, if we take a look at this, we have to find either multiplication or division going from left to right. So reading this um, problem from left to right, we see that we have multiplication here, which is 16 times 2. So we all know that 16 times 2 is 32. So we'll go ahead and write 32 and then bring everything else down. So divided by 4 minus 8 plus 6. And now we're going to do division. So here we have 32 divided by 4, which we all know is 8. So 8 minus 8 plus 6. So we are done with multiplication and division. Next is addition and subtraction. So if we look at this from left to right, subtraction comes first, so we'll do subtraction first. So 8 minus 8 is 0, so we'll go ahead and write 0 plus 6. And the last operation remaining is addition. So 0 plus 6, as we all know, is 6 because anything added to 6 is that same number. So that means when we went from here, from this whole big word problem, which was in parentheses 2 plus 2 to the power of 2 times 2 divided by 4 minus 8 plus 6, it all simplifies to 6. So our final answer is 6, okay? So if you take it step by step by using the PEMDAS method, this is very easy. No matter what the problem is, just use the PEMDAS method, and that is what the PEMDAS method is meant to do. So remember, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. It helps us to solve big problems such as these. So if you still need extra um, practice problems on this topic or any other topic, please feel free to visit our website at bronsismacclub.com and we'll see you guys next time. Bye!